Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day, and we are back at the cathedral. Uh, we're gonna do some work on this today. Uh, before I do that, though, some of you told me uh, that Cub Fan renamed my horse to name tag over here, I believe. Yep, yep. Which I honestly would never have noticed because I never ride my horse anymore. Um, <laughs> and some of you also told me that Scar pranked me, but I looked around my base. I checked my shop over in the community area. I don't see a prank. So I'm guessing it was probably something uh, relatively small or sneaky that I that I will probably not notice or, or whatever, but... I'll be on the lookout for that. If I come across it, I'll, I'll certainly show you guys. Uh, but anyway, what I want to do in today's episode is I want to do some more work on the cathedral. Last episode, uh, we did kind of this front entrance facade. And uh, one thing that a lot of you guys said was that this door should be bigger. Uh, that it wouldn't make sense to only have a door this big. Uh, and actually, this is... What I'm trying to represent is that this whole big wooden thing is the door. That it's not just this, uh, but it's this whole big thing. However, in Minecraft, you can only have doors that are this big, unless you want to build, you know, something like uh, this or whatever and, and kind of make a door that way. Uh, but I didn't want to do that because I, be, I, I want it to be flush against the wall so that it really stands out. So... Just kind of use your imagination and pretend that this whole big thing is the door and that it's not just this one little door right here. Um, also, I'll thank you to all of you who sent me ideas and stuff like that on Twitter uh, for the roof. I really appreciate it. That was some really good stuff. And some of those things I'm going to... Oh, man. I can't fly. Uh, <laughs> some of those things I'm going to implement uh, today, actually, because that's one of the things that I want to do. I want to get... Um, kind of the, oh, that was the worst landing in history. Uh, I want to get the roof kind of situated today, uh, and I want to get some stuff done on the sides. We're not going to finish the entire exterior of the cathedral today, probably, because that's going to be, uh, quite the task, but I think we can do something pretty cool here, and I, I want to, I want to do that, so I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a good time. Um, first thing I want to do is uh, basically get the wooden outline uh, into this area. Now, these, this uh, stone block right here, this is, well, maybe we'll leave it as, as full blocks. Probably not, though. Um, but what I'm thinking is, can I like, yeah, look at that. What I'm thinking is we'll probably have uh, a roof that comes up here. Keep in mind, we've got kind of like this raised area, right? Like this section right here kind of sticks up from uh, where the cathedral is at or where the um, uh, where the roof is at. So like, uh, how do you explain this? So we're going to have like this raised section here where the cross shape is, right? And then what's going to end up happening is this wall is going to end up being brought down to accommodate for the slope of the roof because I want to make sure that you can clearly see this little raised section. Uh, I am thinking I want to go dark oak for the roof, uh, and a lot of you said it would be it wouldn't be wooden tiles uh, or like it wouldn't be a wooden roof, and that is true. It wouldn't. Uh, it would be probably not stone though either. It would be like a ceramic tile. Uh, and there really isn't anything in Minecraft that comes in stairs to represent that. So we're going to use wood mostly because of the color and to represent uh, shingles rather than it actually being a wooden roof, if that makes sense. Um, last thing I want to address before I get into building, uh, a lot of you also said, why is the cathedral bigger than the keep? Uh, why, why is it so big? It's too big. Uh, actually, historically, cathedrals were almost always, like, the largest structure <laughs> in an area. Uh, like, these cathedrals often took, uh, literally hundreds of years to be built in some cases. They would be, you know, multi-generational projects where you'd have, like, you know, you know, well, my, my father and my father's father have been working on this cathedral. 
uh, and and so on and so forth. Cathedrals were massive. Uh, the big, uh, or at least the big Catholic cathedrals uh, in the Middle Ages, they were huge because they were funded by the church. And uh, in that time, the Catholic Church sold indulgences, which are basically like forgiveness of sins. They would say, "Hey, uh, we will, we will." Uh, we will grant you forgiveness of sins if you donate money to the cathedral, uh, to to the construction of the cathedral, and some, uh, and that would that would be one way for the church to raise lots and lots of money. It was like that in the Crusades. Um, so the the Catholic Church was very well funded, and they built these giant, massive cathedrals. Uh, so actually, the fact that the cathedral is as big or bigger than the keep is actually accurate like i know it seems really big but it's supposed to be that's the way that cathedrals were they were huge structures almost always bigger than keeps um so i just wanted to a little bit of a history lesson there but anyway i have a lot of work to do here i want to get to building i want to get some work on the the roof done uh, i still haven't exactly figured out what i want to do but i have a, a pretty good general idea so i think at this point i'm just going to start placing down some blocks uh we'll try to get it all sorted out and I'll come back to you with progress update in just a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back and I've got some work done. We have all the roof sections in place. I see a ghost block. Let's uh, get rid of that right now while we're thinking about it. There we go. So I've got all the roof sections in place. Basically, um, I decided to fill in the top roof pretty straightforward, just kind of following the outline. And then these lower sections, uh, we've got kind of like a it's hard to get a good a good angle at it, but you can kind of see we've got sort of like a, a little turn in here uh, where it all kind of comes together. So uh, if we look at it from a distance from, say, over on this wall, well, actually, that's a terrible example. Uh, let's look at it from maybe over on this tower. Yeah, there we go. You can kind of get a good view of it, and that's looking pretty good, I think. The, I like the shape of it. Uh, we've got space up there to put in some some detail uh, to this bit that kind of sticks out, and I think it looks pretty good, honestly. I'm I'm quite happy with it. Uh, so now, there's a couple things I want to do. I think we want some, uh, well, I need some more materials first. But I think the next step is, before we, before we do the detail on the upper roof, I think I want to see about maybe doing, like, some buttresses. Uh, so for now, just so we can get the shape... Let's just grab, maybe we do these in stone brick. Let's just make a couple stacks of stone brick here. And let's see if we can kind of figure this out. So, um, these are basically like structure, structural supports. And we, uh, what I'm thinking we're going to do, let's see, maybe we'll go like here. And then this one... We'll go maybe there. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try that. One, two, three, four, five. And like so. Mm hmm. Okay. I do want windows in here. So maybe we maybe we just kind of. Hmm. I'm trying to plan this out in such a way that we can have buttress window, buttress window. Uh, I think that's kind of what we're looking to do. So maybe we go window like so, buttress there, uh, and then that's going to come up. Hmm. I mean, I suppose I could put it right up against the thing, but I don't really care for that either. Maybe we reverse it. Maybe we say window buttress, window buttress. Oh, this might work. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll work out beautifully. Okay. So let's build these up to right about there for now. And we'll do another here. We'll go say we'll, we'll say it's gonna go like two above this little section right here, and then we'll go up 
like so. There we go. And now, that should give us kind of a... Yeah. Hmm. Although... I kind of think... I kind of think I want to scoot that over again. One more. I'm liking the way that this is coming along, though. This is, uh, this is progress, for sure. But I'm thinking I want it here. I think we want to scoot it all over one so we can have one more buttress that actually comes up to, like, right up against this wall right here. I think that'll look better. So let's just kind of tear this out. And we're not going to do the whole entire thing right now, but we'll do enough of it that we can kind of get an idea. Let's just do maybe, like, one little wall section, right? And we'll worry about this part later. So we'll go up until we get say two above and that should be that should be good um doo -doo -doo -doo. and then he might, i might as well take these parts down as i as i work my way back down okay so this is like one wall section right and what we'll probably do let's come up here again let's take this or or maybe we even leave that right here and maybe we bring this across so it kind of sticks out a little bit what do we think of that that could be okay uh we need uh no flying flying is a thing <laughs> there we go let's grab some uh some cobblestone fences or some cobblestone walls, I should say. Let's grab a couple of those and see if we can maybe do something here. Now, one little disadvantage that... Why am... That's that's not walls. Here we go. This is what I need. Um, one kind of disadvantage we're going to have here is I may need to do something a little bit sneaky uh, with part of the wall for the where the tower is. Uh, I'm also going to need a fair amount of iron... Fences, I think. Uh, let's just do like that many for now. And we'll see how far that takes us. I hope that'll be enough. That should be enough for at least one section of this. But I have kind of a kind of an, an idea here that I'm I'm liking the at least the concept of. Okay. So we'll get sort of this uh, this little section here all fixed up. Let's try going here, here. What I would like is something like that, and then we would take iron bars and bring them across along this little section, okay? And let's just see how that looks from down below. Something like that could work. Now, keep in mind, there's going to be, like, a big stained glass window in between. I think it might look better if this was stairs instead of full blocks. Hmm. Yeah. Let's try uh, stairs or maybe even slabs. Let's give that a try. And see what we think. Um, do, 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 do. So we'll grab... Some stairs and some fences like so. That's looking good. And I've got the iron bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this should be fine. Uh, and just to save myself a little bit of time, just sneak out over here. You guys saw nothing uh, breaking holes in walls. Okay, good. So then we go one, two, three, space. Wait. Here, right? This will be the next one. Let's build that up. And I think what we'll do is we'll just try a couple different designs here, right? So, like this one, I, I know that I want the cobblestone walls up here. Let's try right here. Some upside down stairs. And we'll put the fences like so. And then here, let's go one, two, three, four, five. And we'll go fences and then right here 
We'll try bringing that up, and we'll see which one of these we like the best. Right? I do know that I want the uh, the fence on top. So let's give this let's give this a shot. Let's see what we think. Which of these is the best design? Um, I think for what we're going for here, the single slab is what we want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the single slab is the way to go there. Uh, so, let's just ender pearl. Oh, I, I made it. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll get rid of... Ooh, gotta be careful. We'll just... Well, actually, I don't even need to get rid of the fences. I can just get rid of the blocks. And then we can sneak the slabs underneath like so. Iron bars. I hear skeletons. They're spawning somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Either way, it's not that important right this second. Okay, so we got that in place. That looks fine. And that should give us uh, a pretty good kind of cathedral-esque feel, right? And I like that. So then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... And cap it with a stair like that, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a stair. And we're basically just kind of bringing these buttresses out just a little bit more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and like so. Okay, there we go. Let's try that on for size. What do we think? Yeah? Okay. Hmm. I might like it better the way it was. I know we will have to do this to the other side and, and then the far side as well. Let me get some work done on it. Let me play around with it a little bit. Let me get it done to the, uh, the entirety of the outside of the cathedral. And then I'll be back with you. All right, guys, I'm back. So I've been doing some work. We've got uh, the roof stuff in place. I decided to go with some uh, cobblestone walls with iron bars on top like this. I think it looks good. That was an idea that uh, I, I forget the name. I don't have it handy, but uh, someone sent me that idea on Twitter. So if that was you, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I also carved out some windows over here uh, on either side. Uh, so we're gonna have big stained glass windows in here. What I want to do is I also kind of want to get a window figured out here as well. Now, this is an even number, this section. Uh, and we could potentially put another, uh, one of these going straight up like this. But I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Uh, what I do know is that is not the height that I want the window to be at. I know that. <laughs> I want the window to be up starting here. And let's go maybe... I kind of want, like, two windows, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe we could do... Now, it really does need to be a, a five wide. Well, maybe we'll do, like, two windows that are two wide each, like this. I'm just trying to figure out kind of a window shape here, so just kind of bear with me. Uh, and what I'm thinking is it would be kind of cool if these windows kind of came up like this, right? We had uh, a little bit of a thing like so just to kind of bring that shape out a little bit. Although I don't know. Let's actually, let's let's try this as a five wide. I'm trying to think about how we would, what we would do for a stained glass window design here. But maybe we try something like this and see what we think. Let's maybe get an idea from over here. You gotta you gotta look at it from a distance to get a, a good idea. Now it would match. It would be the same on uh, on both sides. And what we would probably do is I'm gonna have to fly, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we would probably do is if we're gonna do something like this, 
we'd get rid of this block and turn it into a stair instead. So it's kind of a rounded uh, sort of shape, right? Uh, get rid of that and go there, right? So it's sort of a, yeah, sort of like a rounded curve, if that makes any sense. Grab all these blocks over here that we broke. There we go. Let's give that a try. What do we think? Yeah, that could be cool. That could be really cool. We'd have to come up with a, a stained glass window design for it, but I think that would be doable. And then it would be the same on both sides, right? Of this, uh, of this like pillar thing, uh, or this sticky outy bit. So we got like a two block gap here. So we'd go one, two, one, two, right? And then here, this one's easy. We just basically take this up until we get like two below this, I think. And then we go boop, boop. There we go. Try that out. That should, uh, that should line up with the other side. Uh, also it is sleep time. So let's real quick go to sleep. And then we'll take a peek at that and see what we think of the look. Who else is on? Impulse. Impulse has been out for a while. I wonder if he's AFK. I've been working on this now. Impulse and I have been the only people on the server now for like the last five hours. <laughs> and I know, also, I know that the video has not been very long at this point, but don't underestimate the amount of time it takes to fill in a roof. <laughs> this is a, it takes a, lot of, takes a lot longer than you might think. Uh, but anyway... Let's kind of take a peek at this coming at it from over here. Yeah, that appears to be the right height. Okay, awesome. So then all we need to do is basically bring these windows up over here following essentially the same pattern, right? So we know that this is our height. For that, so here we go, like so. We'll bring this up as well. We imagine that there's like an invisible, that there's a, a block broken out right there. And then we go like, nope. Gotta come this way a little bit. Oh, almost. Gotta get it at the right angle. There we go. I think... I think that'll work, right? Because here, invisible, eh, eh. Yeah, I, th I think that's right. Maybe. <laughs> we'll take a look at it from a distance. It's so hard to tell when you're trying to, like, replicate unless you just, like, memorize. I mean, it's, it's probably going to be easier to do it on that side since I'll have already done it once, but sometimes it's a little funky. Also, I'm out of rockets. Allow me to requisition... Some more rockets. There we go. Much better. Okay. Let's see if this lines up this time. And then you can kind of get an idea of how this whole thing is going to look from the side. Um. Yep. That looks right. That looks the way it's supposed to. We've got this kind of big rounded shape going. Oh man, this is starting to look starting to look like a cathedral we're getting there we're not there yet but we're getting there progress is being made and i'm i'm really happy about that so now there's a couple other things that we may want to consider a do we want to have uh bits coming up like this in front of this section and i don't know if the answer to that is yes maybe we do maybe we don't uh, I do know that I want decorative, uh, uh, like a decorative section up here on all of these, these bits. Like for example, and this is this is not necessarily permanent, uh, but this is just kind of an idea of what I have in mind, right? So uh, let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, is it really an even number? Let's uh, let's go. 
like that. There we go. So now we should have a center point, right? Maybe we bring this down. Maybe we go... Um, now it's like a four. So maybe we go like here. Like this. Here, here. Like so. We go there. We go here. Here. Here, right? To make these kind of like arches. And then maybe we would do something like this, right? And then there'd be a, a background block of some sort probably uh, behind this uh, to, to add a little bit of color or something. But then you can see from here, that's going to look really good. That's going to give us this really kind of, you know, defined shape. And I think it'll look, it'll look really nice, especially if there's a little bit back here to give us like a splash of color, even if it's just wood, you know, even if uh, we were to just take like uh, spruce or something um, and do it that way. I do need a little bit more cobblestone. So excuse me while I make some. <laughs> There we go. I need more of those. There we go. And then let's try, let's just try some spruce wood as like a, just as a background. I, and I, I don't know if this is what we're going to stick with, but I want to try it out. I want to see what we think of this as an idea. And then as far as the inside of it goes, don't worry, we can clean it up and make it look good on the inside. Uh, but I want to get it look, I want to get it looking good on the outside first, if that makes sense. So we do that and then maybe back here. We go like so. I'll jump up here just so we can get to it a little bit more easily. And we'll have a way to kind of disguise this back here. Um, can I? Yep. There we go. Same kind of a deal. Like so. All right. Let's try that on for size. Oh, okay. Running into things. Hmm. It looks okay. It looks okay. It's not a bad look. I think it would look better if we went with the stained glass pattern. Make these into stained glass windows. Oh, that reminds me. A lot of you commented on the color of the windows. Uh, some of you pointed out that they are that they have Packers colors, Green Bay Packers colors, uh, which is a sports. Uh, it's an American football team. For those of you who are not into American football, and it's my team, it's my favorite team. Uh, this is going to be the Cathedral of Saint Lombardi or Saint Rogers, one or the other. Haven't decided yet. Um, <laughs> but no, in in all seriousness, the uh, the green and yellow that is that is very intentional. It's totally supposed to be green by Packers colors. Uh, and uh, let's be honest, green and yellow just look good together. It's a, it's a very good kind of rustic, uh, color combination, the green, especially, uh, and then with mixing with the Browns and everything, I, th I just think it goes really well together. Um, it's a, a good color palette and it stands out and I like it. So, um, Hmm. I am thinking that this should be stained glass back here, unless we want, I mean, we could also potentially end up mixing it up in different ways as well. You know, maybe, uh, maybe we end up doing something like, uh, break that out, break this out. I kind of like the pillared look though. I, I don't really want to mess with that too much, you know, but there's different, uh, there's different potential things that we can do here. You know, maybe something like that. Uh, to kind of emphasize different shapes. And, and the idea here being that, you know, we'd have something here as a background block, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, you don't just, you don't necessarily have to see so much of it. You know, there's different things that could be done to kind of cover a lot of it up or, or, you know, make it a little less, uh, in your face. And, and this is all just kind of a, a, a theory anyway like this is this is part of the 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 process the trial and error uh and obviously the texture variation and stuff isn't done like we did over on the other side over there that's going to take some time that's going to be live stream work for sure um but i think we made some good progress today i'm happy with it we got our roof in place we got some of the uh 
uh, I, I want to say Gables, but it's not Gables. We've got uh, some of the buttresses in place, the supports uh, that go along the side. Those are looking good. We got space for the windows all hollowed out. The cathedral is indeed coming along. We are making progress with it, and it is getting there. Uh, and that's exciting. But unfortunately, guys, I am out of time for this episode. Let me know your thoughts. As always, if you have ideas for stuff, send them to me on Twitter. I love getting that stuff. Uh, got some good inspiration for this today. And I, I appreciate all of you who sent me stuff uh, and ideas and things. So, um, But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.